Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you two new Avatar figures yes. from the new Avatar movie. Right. Which is The Way of Water. The Way of Water. So today we have we have Jake Sully and Natiri. Wow, Natiri. Yeah, I was trying to remember how to pronounce her name. So that we have not seen this yet as the far as the filming of this video but we do plan to go see it and these figures look awesome yeah no these are the at least two of the returning characters so we know these are we know these characters from the first movie but right we don't know what happens in the new movie and they are made by McFarlane toys all right so let's go ahead and take a look um let's look at Natiri first whoa looks really cool facial sculpt she's gonna come with an extra set of hands um, and some, a couple weapons there. Her toes do look a little different than his, which is funny. Um, so there you have, there she is on the back, riding on a banshee. Yes. That's the cool thing. Um, as big as these figures are, they actually have banshees the size that they can ride. So it'll be cool to see those in person. Yes. And they are, tw have 22 moving parts. And it says, uh, ooh, they black light glow. Oh, cool. Or at least the um, Banshee does. So I think we'll, we'll definitely have to try that out. Yeah. Because we do have a black light. All right, and let's take a look at Jake Sully. Very cool facial sculpt. He's going to come with an extra set of hands and weapons as well. There's his artwork. He's. I'm trying to see if he was riding on the same Banshee. Uh, yeah, just maybe with its mouth open. So there you have it. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get these two avatar figures out of their boxes and give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay. And they're out of their boxes. So they're let's take a look. Camouflage. And they are camouflaged in our background, <laughs> just like in the movie. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at. At Natiri? Yep. We'll take a look at her first. Well, first of all, she's going to come with an extra set of hands. And um, these are, this one is like a grippy, like a holding hand or whatever. Um, and then this one is like the hold back the strings on the yeah. bow, which they don't actually have strings on these bows. But anyway, it's just for posing purposes. Maybe she just released it. So they do come with a stand, which is really cool. They have a hole on the bottom of each foot um, so that you can... Um, they, but I do think they would stand on their own. As you can see, he's standing without his stand. So here's her bow. It's got like leaves or whatever wrapped around this. And the end of the arrow right there. Um, I'm trying to see how it is. Yeah, so here's the end of the, the arrow. It's like really long. Yeah. Really long point to it. So she's holding them together. And you, you can tell by the hands she has on now, which are a little bit more open than that one. Um, she's able to hold the bow with that. So I'm going to... She doesn't want to let go. All right. So let's take a look at her facial sculpt, which is really cool. Spot on, if you ask me. Just like the movie. Yeah, these are really or well the first sculpted. movie, anyway. Yeah, and look at all the detailing and texturing for her hair. It's got the little braids going all down it. And then the longer braided um, coming all the way down here. Um, look at the blue, almost like tiger stripes like they have on their yeah. skin. Um, she does have a feathered necklace and then another um, blue strap around there. She's got another, like a choker necklace here. Um, this one is actually like, uh, well, I see. It's a, it doesn't really move. It's kind of tacked to her body um, for the figure. And then she has some wrist um, accoutrements, um, little things around here too as well. And then she has this little cloth and then the a braided part that goes around there. She also has um, a slot for her um, knife. Oh, I see. That's why it... So when you put it in, you can put it in like that, of course. But then, as you can see, it actually can be taken out. It's got a slit there. So you can put it in either way. So just be careful that it doesn't fall out. Because it does have that slit there. And she has her cute little tail. Um, the, the little cloth is like wrapped around it and woven through it. She's got some more markings on the sides of her legs. 
and her toes are quite different than his. There's quite a big gap <laughs> in between the big toe and the second toe. So I guess that's for tree climbing or something. <laughs> but uh, so there she is looking really cool. I never really noticed because, I mean, you don't really show it like mm -hmm. you don't, um, like in the movie. But, of course, she's like Navi. He's right. like artificial kind of spliced right in an avatar but like so she actually only has four fingers oh yeah she does he has five and then he has five toes, toes and she and then, only has and she has four. four that's why it looks so different okay so there you have it they're gonna have the same articulation so you're gonna show it on the other figure right yeah that's good okay all right so here's the hands that he comes with basically the same it's got a grippy hand like that and then he's got the hold the bow but like you said he has five fingers um, as opposed to hers, and then he comes with the same stand. Um, here's his bow. So his bow is a little bit more like bone colored or whatever. And then he's got the arrow coming through here with the darker on the feathers or whatever they use on this part. Um, and then he can hold it as well. Take it out of his hand. Now his weapon is goes in the um, the strap that goes across his chest it has the same way whereas you can put it in like that so just be careful because you know you don't want it to slide out um and then it's got this is really cool yeah all kinds intricate of cool thing. textured yeah texturing and stuff on it and um he's got a blue thing around this arm another tan thing they have things around here to protect them probably when they're using the bow and arrow um let's take a look at his facial sculpt it's really, really cool. I think they did a great job on yeah. these. Um, looks straight on, spot on from the movie. There's his ears. Um, his cool braids. And then it comes down to his long braid. I think it's even longer than hers. And then his tail, which is articulated as well. Oh, there we go. See, there goes his knife. So you got to be careful with that. And then um, he's got the same markings. Um, he's got a choker necklace as well got the little things tendrils hanging right down here and then he's got the little cloth some greens around here and there's his toes so just like regular human toes <laughs> and there's his tail all right and i'll let you show off his articulation okay so let's take a look so he is going to have um of course neck articulation so it'll go side to side. He can uh, look down. And even though he has the ponytail, he can still look up, which is cool. Um, he has the double butterfly shoulders, so you can get really good range of motion in there. And, of course, it will also extend as well as uh, rotating. He has the uh, double elbows and the dual wrists, so they will also rotate and bend. Um, he has two points at the torso. Actually, both of them have two, but they're really well hidden. So one is literally right underneath here, and then the other for him is underneath this um, his body armor or whatever that's on him. Midriff armor. <laughs> yeah. He's going to have um, articulation at the hips. His tail is actually articulated as well. He'll have the double knees, and then the ankles actually will turn, pivot, and roll. So there's actually like three points of articulation in the ankle, and then, of course, the toe articulation. Um, now, one thing you'll notice with him, with these, because they have the bare feet, and they actually do have really well sculpted feet, so... Um, this makes it a little more challenging when it because it's not actually a flat surface for posing um, but you can he does stand up on his own and he also has the uh, the stand as well but really cool figures and really well articulated all right so there's one last look at at Jake Sully and Natiri from Avatar the way of water so they look really cool they are definitely blending in with our background but i think they are spot on their facial sculpts are awesome yeah as these well. are really cool so thank you so much for watching as always come back and see us like subscribe and we will see you next time